Well, we got the Saudi Bravia up and running. Got the new uh, power supply in for today from Shop Jimmy for forty-five dollars. So I think in total I've spent seventy bucks on this set. Uh, right now it's doing a firmware upgrade off a USB stick. Figure you might as well have the newest firmware on it. Downloaded it directly from Sony. Not sure how long it'll take. It's only like a twenty megabyte update, but. Who knows how slow it is to do the update. So yeah, I figured it was in the power supply after doing the uh, service manual and following the uh, voltages coming out of the power supply. The uh, 12 volt section of the power supply is just completely gone. There's nothing left. Probably bad capacitors, but they didn't show uh, physical signs of failure. And without a capacitance tester, I don't really know how to go about testing them. So, I mean, you'd have to pull them out of circuit, put them on a capacitance tester, and you could see if they were reading too high or too low in capacitance. So, they're cheap Chinese junk capacitors on the original power supply anyway. It's possible some FETs were bad. The part numbers on the FETs uh, ran through Google, didn't translate to anything like, say, NTE makes or anything like that. So, really strange parts. Um... When I first turned it on, when I first put the power supply in, and I went to turn it on, it was still blinking the five blink code. I was like, uh oh. But uh, thankfully, once I hit the power button, she fired right up. So, cleared her out and reset it back to factory defaults. And uh, it's got a pretty decent picture on it. So, once this firmware update's done, I'll uh, come back and record a little bit more. Alright, firmware update is complete. Sitting at a nice standby light, no more blinky lights of death. Let's fire this puppy up and make sure it updated. Green, green is good. I had green before, nothing. Ooh. Four hours worth. Well, I mean, we didn't. Moved totally for that four hours. And what we were you doing? We were gathering things together. He's got a sensitive ass tuner in it. Picking up a uh, local 15 out of Mobile, I think. I think local 15 out of Mobile. Let's make sure our firmware updated. Let me ask you this question, Mr. Whiting. I mean, we're now in April, and this stuff, the very important stuff to your heart, you've been missing since July. So, what I want to know from you is between July and April. Contact Sony. Yep, 1.5, it was 1.512, so. so this is the newest firmware they made for it. Yep, pick it up a channel out of Mobile. Pretty good, 46% single strength. Local CBS station. We understand because we have the accident. The Big Apple Turkey or the Napoleon Sap. Yeah, Beach TV's got issues. I thought Beach TV was supposed to be on 46.1. What the hell is it doing on channel 22? All their squirrely thoughts next. Is it wrong? Look, Fox. Look, church chat. Church chat with some really bad formatting issues. They need to fix that. PBS. WFSU needs to fix the PBS uh, rebroadcast for us because they have the same, the same freaking name for everything. There's a 3.1 ABC out of uh, Pensacola, I think. 
Really sensitive tuner if I'm pulling that in over my little hobo antenna. It's a four out of Dothan, which we no longer get on cable down here because Channel 7 has their own CBS station there. Supposedly this set runs at 120 hertz. I don't know if I can turn that off or not. That's a joke. Let's do post cover for six. Try again. For a wartime cover in 1943, Rockwell's so, uh, NBC. 5.1, which I think is out of mobile. This has pretty low single, but it works. I lost on Jeopardy. Berber. Here we go. We got the Channel 7 upgraded CW to 720p HD, and yeah, we can't even get this on cable here yet. Only over antenna. Seventy bucks for a TV that probably cost. Well, let's say we pay twenty-five for it at the Goodwill because it didn't work. Forty-five for the power supply. So that's what seventy. And then uh, this TV probably costs between what five and seven hundred new because it's Sony. Because you know you're gonna pay for that little Sony logo down there on the front of the TV. Well, there we go. Fairly easy fix. I wish I could have figured out exactly what components fell in the power supply, but oh well, cheaper to just replace it than to have to deal with trying to figure out what was wrong. Oh yeah, the uh, shop Jimmy people put a little handwritten and date stamped uh, inspection ticket in every single part they sent out. So. Yes, vascular.